to the world of colors. I'm Colors. Today I'm excited to bring you a really great gnome. He's a big gnome and he's called Jake on the Lake. And he's down here. I've got him sitting down here. He's 36 inches long and he's got all his accessories. Let me come around to this other side and show you. Pick him right up here. He's kind of like a big stuffed toy. He's got his net and his fishing pole and his basket of fish. And he just sets right up. I made this little bait, live bait bucket for him. And he's good to go. So that's what we're gonna be making today. He's not as long and hard as you might think. He's, he's pretty easy, really. And uh, in a minute, I'll be coming back and telling you about the materials that we're gonna to use to make him. So, so what we're gonna to need to, to make Jake is we, we need some three-ply jute. And I have a little basket that he's got his fish in. So you just a mis miscellaneous basket for him. And at Dollar Tree, you'll find these butterflies. And I'm using the orange butterfly on his beard. Then at Dollar Tree, you need three pairs of the men's dress socks. And the one pair, two pair I have in, in the brown pattern. Um, he's got the, the square plaid uh, pattern on right now. But uh, the ones that I'm going to use for the next one look like this. So it's not real important but uh, what the pattern is. But I am using the browns and tans. Keeping in that family of, of color. Um, also, we need these ones with the diamond top. And the bottom uh, are all tan without pattern in them. Those are kind of important to get like that for this project. That pair. And then for our burlaps and our fleeces and our felts, right here I have a pile. I need a, a 10 by 10 inch piece. I need two 10 by 10 inch pieces of the, your natural burlap for the hat. And then two 9 by 9 inch pieces. This is called relish felt from Joann's. And it's 20% wool. You need two 9x9 nine nine pieces of this for his shoes. You need, this is called sandstone from Joann's. It's, uh, we need one 8x8 eight eight inch piece for his nose. And then, I'm asked a lot about this fuzzy felt, I call it. It's, it's uh, called plush felt. This is chocolate, the chocolate color plush felt from Joann's and we'll be using that for his body. We need uh, two 11 by 14 inch pieces of that for his body. And then for his jacket vest, we'll need a 13 by 20 inch piece of this camouflage felt that I found at Walmart. And then for his beard, we're gonna be using this red color fur, really nice fur that I got on Amazon. And it's we're gonna use a, a five by seven piece of this fur. You can use any color that you want to, but this kind of goes with the color scheme that he is and the orange butterfly and everything. It all goes together really well like it is set up there. Then another piece of this honey plush felt from Joann's instead of chocolate this is honey and using that for his pants and another piece of that in a two inch by six inch for his pockets it's two 12 by 12 inch pieces for his pants and then two two or just one I'm sorry one two by six inch piece for his pockets. We're gonna cut that in half. And then I have two 
they're about eight by eight inch pieces of the brown burlap it's kind of a brown orange orange maybe a burnt orange color uh burlap that i got at walmart that i'm using in the basket and in this tackle box so it's kind of just eight by eight roughly eight by eight pieces of that we're going to use a, a eight inch roller from Do this is not from dollar tree this is from um TJ Maxx, I believe. Either TJ Maxx or Five and Below. It's I've had these for a while, so um, it's just an eight-inch roller is what we need. And then um, at Walmart, I got these fishing pieces in order to do his bobber. I got this big bag of bobbers. They're all real expensive. I, you need uh, some floral wire. For to act as his fishing line and I got these little lures for his hat different pieces miscellaneous pieces like that I got the big uh, lure for to, to, we took out the hooks to make for his fish that's on his fishing pole and for the fish that are in his basket so you get a big package like this at Walmart and then you're going to need some E6000 glue if you want to glue the fish in the basket. You don't want to use your hot glue gun for that. You want to use some E6000 glue for that. And then you're going to need your polyester fiber fill, your rubber bands. I do have a lantern on his basket over here, a lantern that's optional on him you know I'm gonna put it on him again and then uh, you're gonna need some flat marbles and then this fishing box I have made ahead of time it's painted red with yellow letters that are outlined with the orange marker and so that's what you're gonna to need to get from Dollar Tree is one of those crates like this to make this fishing box and then we're gonna put some of the burlap inside that so um, I've got out here the, the red and yellow acrylic craft paints by testers to use for the box. You're going to need a hole punch, and I'll show you what you're going to use that for later. And some hairspray, glue sticks, your glue gun, and scissors. And that should be about it. So I'll get this stuff kind of spread away from my table so I have room to work and I'll be right back with you. So while I'm getting the stuff pushed back on my table, I realized I didn't tell you about the fishing pole and the net, which are two very important things. So the fishing pole, I used this before in my Captain Spiffy video, which just went over 25,000 views and I wanted to thank everybody for that. Um, this is a Gibson fishing pole. They call it a bait cast fishing pole. It's a barbecue lighter actually. And uh, you can get these on Amazon right now and you can get them on eBay. They're, they're kind of expensive this year. They're not, they weren't as expensive as they are this year, last year. So uh, you wanna, you wanna uh, get your hands on one of those fishing poles. And then the net, is from Walmart. It was 88 cents. It's called a floating dip net and it was orange and neon orange and white and I spray painted it gold so it would look a little more old and uh, it turned out really nice and so it's for 88 cents at Walmart. So I just wanted to tell you about those two things and I'll finish clearing off my table and I'll, I'll be back with you. So the first thing you want to do is take out your two 11 by 14 inch pieces of the plush chocolate felt for the body. Let me get ready here. You want to take it and put the right sides together, fuzzy sides together. And 
then we'll glue them 14 inch sides. We want to glue a quarter inch in. Use my scissors to hold that back. And then just make a uh, quarter inch in bead across it. I'm going to stop about halfway and just continue on. that right on there I'm gonna do the other side and this other side here and then I'm gonna let it set up and I'll be right so back I've got both sides glued and set up and what you want to do is take the short end and just gather this all together Like that and then take your rubber band and put it around it you want to put your rubber band all around it several times like that you've got about one inch sticking out and then you want to turn the whole thing my seams out there then turn the whole thing right side out and that's what your bottom will look like You want to just set that down like that and you want to put your marbles inside I put quite a few marbles in there I'm not tight on the marbles at all because I know that's what makes them sit up so nice I'm actually going to put a few more than that in there. It all goes around that stub like a donut in there. And so then you, what you want to do after that is to go ahead and fill it up with your polyester fiber fill. You want to fill it up to the top and then just go ahead and fasten it with your rubber band. And I'll be right back with you. Well, I've got the body all made here. He's all put together at the top and fastened. And the next thing we need to do is make the nose. So we wanna take the eight inch by eight inch piece of sandstone felt that I got at Joanne Fabrics and we're gonna make the nose. You just want to take some polyester fiber fill and make it about the size you want the nose to be. It's a pretty good size nose. You just want to put your polyester fiber fill in the middle of your felt and then push it up with your thumb. And then take your rubber band and fasten it off. Oops. 
like that. Then that's what I'm going to do is take some the blush that I didn't have out and we're going to blush out his nose a little bit. This is blush that I got at the Dollar Tree. Do it and then that's what I want to do is glue it the, the two seams are on the sides like this and we want to glue it right in the middle of the two seams on the stub here so we'll just go ahead and put some glue on here about like that and put it right in place right there and let that set up. I'll be right so back. I've got the nose glued on now. When I put the, the nose on that I had made in front of you just a minute ago, I d didn't like the size of it and I measured the nose out. I should it should be, this was a two inch nose across, two inches across, and I needed a two and a half inch across, so I had to make another nose. This one's two and a half inches across. So it'll keep you on the same page as I am. So his nose is attached now. And I took out a pair of the men's dress socks, the, the chocolate brown ones, a pair of the chocolate brown ones. And is what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these into the legs. So we wanna take some marbles, in the bottom of these is marbles. Maybe the size of a golf ball for his marbles in the bottom. About like that. And then we want to fill it up with the polyester fiber fill. We're going to do that to both the legs and then I'll be right back with you. So I've got my legs filled up. I put a rubber band down at the bottom, right at the top of where the marbles are. That's gonna indicate where his shoe's gonna be. So we have the rubber bands on there, and what we wanna do is attach the legs to the body. So what we're gonna do is glue the tops of the socks together. Put a little glue in there and glue those together. Like that. And then you just want to kind of glue the corners together like that. Just put a little glue right there. And glue that like that. You see, you've got the heel of the socks at, acting as the knee now. So you got that like that. And then you just want to put plenty of glue on this area here. We don't have to worry about if it sticks out or anything like that because there's gonna be a pair of pants over the top of these legs. So that should be good. So you just wanna take the bottom, put the seams to the side, right underneath the nose, and set it down like that. And apply a little bit of pressure to that for a few minutes and let it set up. 
and we'll be right back. Okay, the next thing we want to do are, we've got his legs attached, they're glued on, and we want to go ahead and do the arms, and we're going to put sleeves on his arms. I didn't put sleeves on this first one's arms. Later, I had an afterthought of putting the, these kind of sleeves on the arms, so we're going to do that with this one. So what you want to do is you take your, your tan color socks out and a couple of, you need a couple of eight inch rollers for the arms. You want to do that and take your scissors and, and lay your roller right on there. This first part of the sock, the tan sock, is we're going to have hit be his hands in this no, And then the second part will be his arm. So you want to cut about up to there, that much off, so I just cut about four and a half inches off those socks. So then is what you want to do is go ahead and fill them with the polyester fiber fill. This bottom is going to be the hand. Not like that. And we can put a little rubber band around where the hand is going to be. And then what we want to do is take and tunnel down through the arm till we get to the hand area and then put the eight inch roller in right there. Kind of smooth things back out again. And just fasten that off at the top of the roller. This is the end that'll go onto the body. We'll glue this part onto the body. trim that up a little bit. So what we want to do with the arm that I didn't do last time is I thought we could take another pair of these socks like we made the legs and make sleeves on the arms. And so what we want to do is we want to cut, take our other roller and cut about eight inch sleeves like that and just put them on so that the cuffs are down by the hands like that. I thought that would be a cute idea to do for sleeves. And then just trim that up. So then there's his arm. So I'm going to go ahead and do another arm just like that, and I'll be right back with you. So I've got the arms made, and I put rubber bands at the wrists on top of the sleeves. And so what I'm going to do is wrap the wrist with some jute. like that. We'll 
to be the other one. And as soon as we get them wrapped, then we can glue them on the body. three-ply three jute that I'm using for this. All the jute that I use in this gnome will be the three-ply. Okay, so with what we want to do, I didn't put a rubber band around the end of my sleeve here. Take a second to do that. So what we want to do is go ahead and get these glued on. And we're going to, I've got the seam of the sock facing out on both of them. That, that where the hands are, the seams facing out. And then we're going to just glue them onto the back of this stub like that. So I'm going to put some glue on here and put it on the back of the stub and I'm going to hold on to it for a few minutes to let it set up. And then I'm going to glue the other one on the other side like that and let it set up. So let me get started here. About like that. And just get that in there like that. And I've got it, the arms bent, and I've got that seam facing out. So I'm gonna let that set up a little bit, and then I'm gonna get the other arm glued on, and then I'll be back with okay, you. Okay, so the arms are attached, and the legs are attached. Look at this, how far we've gotten so far. The next thing we wanna do is to make his pants. They're kind of short, long shorts, uh, short pants. So you wanna take the Honey Plush felt, the two 12 by 12 inch pieces. And you want to turn them the right sides together like that. Get all the corners together. And then go ahead and fold that in half like that. And then is what you want to do is just take your scissors, get mine folded a little bit straighter. Take your scissors, And you want to cut like a tall, slim Christmas tree right through here. We're making the legs of the pants like that. That's how you want to do that. And I came out with six inch pieces that I cut out. They're six inch tall. So then is what you want to do is um, you want to glue the seams on both sides and then the seam between the legs. And then we're gonna we're gonna glue that all up and then we're gonna let it set up. I'll turn that back. So I'll be right back with you after we get this. These I've glued got up. my pants setting up. They're all glued all through here and on the sides. 
the right sides are in the inside still. I haven't turned them right side out. And it's what you want to do is take your hole puncher and we're going to cut holes with the hole puncher. Mine's old. If I had a new one, this would probably be an easier job. And you want to start by go about a half inch in and, and then just punch holes all the way around the top of your pants so that we can put the jute through there to make his belt and bunch up the top of his pants when we get it on there. So you just want to keep putting your felt inside your hole puncher about every inch all the way around and I'll be right back with well, you. You wanted to turn your pants right side out and then start putting your jute in the holes back and forth in the holes at the top of your pants all the way around. And you're working with the, the right sides out of your pants. So just continue to do that and I'll be right back with so you. So the pants are done. This is how they look. And what we want to do is go ahead and just slip them on. Pull the legs through there. We're just going to slip them on. They're nice and soft. When you buy this plush fleece, it's by the felt, or the plush felt, I'm sorry, it's by the felt, the regular felts, and it's a smaller bolt of felt, maybe half the size of the regular felt. So you want to just get them on like that, get it up, pulled up in the back good, pull it up in the back good, and then get it on like that. Everything in good, right above the knees, and then go ahead and tie that. And do it like that. And then is what I'll do is go ahead and take my glue and tack very carefully there so you don't get it up on it, don't make a glue mess anywhere. Tack them down so they stay where you want them. And that should be good. Now you notice on the first one I just used regular tan felt and I decided on the second one to go ahead and use the plush felt to give it a little bit more texture even. So the next thing we want to do is put on the shoes, which are the green relish felt that I got at Joann's. So you have the two nine by nine inch pieces. And you just want to take a rubber band and find the center of this piece like that and put it at the center of the sock here like that. Put it up on it like that. Are you seeing, seeing what I'm doing here? And then just Put your rubber band around the top of the marbles like that. I'll do it again on the other foot. This is not, we're not done yet, but this is what we're doing so far. So find your center of your felt, put your foot in the center, and then just bring it up like that. 
and all up like that and take a rubber band and put it around it. Then if what you want to do is take your scissors and just go around and cut the corners off. Like that. Like that. Just do that on both sides. And then we'll take the jute and put that around the bottom and kind of make some tassels. So just hold a couple inches out and then just wrap it. A few times. And then you've got that piece that you held out and you've got the new, the new end, and you just cut that like that. And I'll bring that new end, I'll wrap it around in there. Like that. Tie it off like that, nice and tight. And that's a little bit longer than what I want. And then I want to loosen it up. Just twist it till they all come apart like that on both sides. So I'm going to do that to the other shoe. And when we get back, I am going to do the jacket. So I'll be right back with you. So I've got this shoes finished. And he's looking pretty good. What we want to do next is the jacket. And take out the camouflage fleece that I got at Walmart. And fold that right in half. So now it's 10 by 13. And we wanted to take the tape off. Take your tape off. Like that, and then fold that in half again. And then we'll take and cut out enough, probably about a half dollar up here. Like that. And that is going to be his vest jacket. Go ahead and take it over the top here. Oof. I was going to cut the uh, vest part down the middle right here after I got it glued but it looks like I'm going to do it before like that and then you can see his belt a little bit of the fuzzy chocolate fleece or felt that we have on there and then what you want to do is just go ahead and tack tack it over here on the sides you can use your little pink clips to hold it. And just go ahead and tack it. Up like that. 
I'm gonna let that set up and then I'll do the other side and I'll be right back with you. Okay, the next thing we need to do is take our two inch by six inch piece of the honey plush felt and we're gonna cut it in half to make two pockets for his pants. So just cut it right in, exactly in half like that. And they're long pockets, and we're going to put them right on like that. So, get a little glue here. I'm not going to seal up the top of the pockets just in case I would want to put something in them. There. Put the pockets down. Now the next thing we want to do is the beard. You want to take your 5 by 7 inch piece of fur for your beard. I've got this red fur on Amazon. And so what you want to do first is to take the beard uh, in the bottom corners and make a V-shape of glue there and fold that up on both of the bottom corners. That rounds out the beard a little bit. It doesn't look so uh, square. Like that. And then you want to fold it in half, the beard, right in half like that. Go ahead and cut an inch, a little bit more than an inch for this nose, like that. And we want to put that up around the nose, like that. And we'll go ahead and glue that right in place there. If I can get the other side. Screw that on like that. What you want to do is spray your mustache and beard with a little firm holding hairspray. And then you can work the mustache in. And it'll stay, it'll stay there. So the next thing that we want to do is the hat. So you want to take out your natural burlap, the 10 by 10 inch piece pieces of the natural burlap. And this is a pretty easy hat. What you want to do is 
find the center, fold this in half, and find the center here. And just take a, a marker and mark your center there. And then you have your corners down here. I cut mine right on the edge of the burlap so I would have this little border running along the edge of the hat at the bottom, this little border. I cut it like that. So is what you want to do. I got this burlap at Walmart. It's a tight weave burlap. It's very inexpensive and I like to keep it on hand in different colors. So what you want to do is start in the corner and cut towards that dot in the center. Keep looking back at your scissors and then back at the dot until you get all the way up to that dot. Like that. And then we're going to do the other side. Start right in the corner. Like that. And that's going to be his hat. What we're going to do is glue this a quarter of an inch in. Hold it down with your scissors. Make sure I have enough glue. And just glue it a quarter of an inch in. Up this side and the other side, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay? I'll be right well, back I've got the you. glue on both sides. It's still pretty warm. But I wanted to show you that I just pull up towards the top of the hat along the sides to get that look. We're not going to turn this the right side out. This is the right side out. We're just going to... Pull up the sides so that we get that rough look on the sides like that. And then, making sure that it's set up good. We can put some polyester fiber fill. I've got a eight inch roller and some polyester fiber fill in there. You see how he's looking really like a stuffed toy? He's really looking nice. Make a good Santa Claus. Oh, it looks like I, I didn't get my glue on good there. Popped a little bit, so I'm going to fix it. So give me a minute to let that set back up again. I'll be right back with you. So I got that fixed and set up, and I'm putting polyester fiber fill on the hat. Like that. Maybe just a touch more. So then we want to get our roller and get it in the middle of the hat best we can. Like that.
and it's we're going to turn the hat bend the hat at the top get some shape there and then we want to glue it onto the nose like that get them over here where I can reach the glue gun we're going to glue it put the seams to the side like that I need to fix this seam having all kinds of problems with this hat today fix your corners and make sure they are glued well And then we're going to glue it to the top of the nose, the seams to the side on, above the shoulders, like that. And we'll glue this to the top of the nose. I'm going to let that set on up for a couple minutes before I continue to glue the rest of the hat. It's real important to let this set up a few minutes so it doesn't pull away. So I'll be right back with well, you. The front's set up pretty good. I want to go ahead and drop some glue on the middle of the hat in the back. I'm going to let that set up. I'm going to drop a little bit of glue under each corner of the hat to go onto the shoulders. And then the hat will be on. I'll be right back with you. So we just finished gluing on his hat. And that looks pretty good. He, he's looking really good. What we want to do next is his crate. This is what the crate will make him sit up just a little bit more upright. Um when we glue the hand to the crate and then the crate to the body. But before we do that, we wanna go ahead and put some of that burnt orange color burlap into the crate. Just so it looks like it has something in it. Let me glue this in and I'll be right back I'm with getting you. getting ready. I want to glue it on like it is here. With the hand holding the box down to the body. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a little glue on the bottom. And put that down here like this. And then I'm going to glue the hand to the top of that. Okay, so the, bo the box is glued down right now. When that sets up, then I'll be gluing the hand to that. And I'll be right back with you. So now we want to put the polyester fiber fill in the basket that you, whatever basket you found. I found mine, these two matching baskets. There's one on the first Jake and this one at a garage sale for 75 cents. What a find, huh? So we put the polyester fiber fill in there and then a piece of the burlap. Cover that up good. Like that. And then I'll just see if I can get my glue gun in here and tack the, that down a little bit. Now, we put fish in the one, the first one, the little fish laying in there. You can't do it with a glue gun. You have to use E6000 to glue your, your fish on. So 
So you just put a dollop of E6000 glue on there and lay it in the basket. And I only have that one to do that with, so this basket's getting one fish. And then you want to take the basket and tie it with a piece of jute around where the jute already is to attach the basket. Put the basket on. Oops. Stay there, little fishy. Put it on like that. I'm going to tie that with a piece of jute, and I'll be right back with you. So I've got the basket attached with the jute, and now I want to tie on the fishing pole. So I just stuck that under the arm here. And I'm going to use it. I've got about an 8-inch piece of the jute here. And I'm going to tie with the reel coming out this way. I'll just tie that on there. Think is what I will do on this one is go ahead and glue the back of the pole that on the back here. Let me turn it. On the back here, I'm going to glue the the handle of the fishing pole to his jacket, so it points out where I want it to be. So if I can find my glue gun. I'm gonna let that set up and I'll be right back with you. So the next thing you wanna do once you get your fishing pole on there is go ahead and get your craft wire. I have a 26 gauge craft wire, floral wire that I'm using. And I'm going to attach one of the little lures that look like a fish onto it. like that and also I did the bobber right at the top Well, just a second here. There we go. Like that. And then just attach it to the, the hole at the bottom of the fishing pole. And you'll have that done. And then the next thing would be to take the net and I make sure I pulled the net out through their back there a little bit. And we're going to put that, attach that right to his arm right here. And I just used a rubber band when I did that. Just took it around like that.
And that's how I attach that knot. And then the next thing we want to do is go ahead and attach the butterfly. Goes right here. So I just put a little glue on the bottom of the butterfly. And put that right there. And I guess all that's left is the lures for the top of this, this hat. I wanted to tell you about the lantern. We had the lantern attached to the basket as well. And I will attach that real quick. It's like he's going out fishing and he's taking everything he can think of. So he's got his lantern. And we need to put his lures on. And this different ones I could find on his hat. Um, one more like that he could even stick a, a lure down here on his pocket and then I wanted to tell you about this bait bucket this live bait bucket that I made as another piece to go under his foot or next to his leg this is actually a terracotta pot that had a saucer underneath it, terracotta pot. And I took the saucer and I glued it to the top and I put the letters on here, live bait, and I spray painted the whole thing with charcoal color chalk paint. And then I took the letters off and that's what I had. What I got was this little, cute little live bait pot to put next to them. And that's it. That's all there is to making them. It doesn't take too long. It's pretty easy. And now we have two, and I'm, I'm excited to have two. That they're really uh, adorable and soft, and they're like uh, big stuffed toys. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure to like. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe.